guys, today I'm doing a review on the Easton Axis 5mm. I've been shooting this shaft for about four years. It's been a great shaft. I've shot it through targets, I've shot it into trees, I've shot it in the dirt. And I've only had two shafts break. And the reason they broke is because I was bare shaft tuning and I had bumped my arrow rest too far one direction and and when I hit the target, it, the whiplash snapped the shaft. Never had them break otherwise. I've shot a lot of them, and I've never really, I've had them hit each other and they break, but I've never had them just fail by hitting. Like if I shot one arrow with another arrow, then it breaks. I don't have them just tap each other and then break. Uh, I've shot them, like I said, I've shot them in the dirt, I've shot them through targets, I've shot them through animals, and they've stayed intact. So, this is a really great one. I run it in three fletch. And then this one back here is in four fletch. And this is by far my favorite. I've had this shaft the longest, this is from the original batch. I've actually shot, this is... This one's been in two trees by itself, and it's still intact. This is 26 and a half inches long, four fletch max stells with 20 with a nine inch wrap, and a green X knot. <laughs> Love this shaft. This is one. Of, this is my favorite arrow. This is my true arrow. Yeah, I mean everybody has that number one. This is my number one arrow. I shot it so much that it's actually blank from going through so many targets. This shaft will not let you down when you need it. This is one of the best shafts on the market, if not the best. This is not a match grade shaft. This is just the regular axis shaft. I want to share a tip with you guys that I learned a long time ago about match grading your own shafts. So if you cut, if you're not super long drawing, this will work for you. If you're 30 inch plus, it's not going to work for you, but I shoot a 26 and a half inch shaft, so I'll cut two inches off the front and an inch and a half off the back, and it gives me the straightest shaft in the center, right? Because you're the, the wobbly part of your shaft, or the, the least true part of your shaft is on the ends. So if you cut your ends off, you're going to have a straighter shaft. It's going to spin more truly. All right, I hope this tip. And this review has helped you out on your decision to buy Axis or not. If you like this video, like and subscribe. You guys have an amazing day.